Good evening. Hello, hello, one, two, one, two. Hello, hello, one, two. You hear me? How are you guys? Thank you, guys. Okay. Let me do the attendance first so we can start. Sorry. So we can start the class. Um, so tonight is what Tuesday tomorrow is my day off yeah okay Adriana Jose Serna Duran present thank you Daniel Antonio Luna present teacher hey good Erika Jasmin Martinez Carpio present okay Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez present Good. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. I thought I saw Héctor here. He's not here. That's weird. Ivan Petrovic Guzmán Aquino. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Jamie is there too. Okay. Jolman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Thank you. Lucy Nathalie Juarez de Ramírez. Right here. Excellent. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present. Thank you. Ruth Isela Joaquín Flores. Present. Present. Thank, thank you. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. Thank you. And Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Excellent. Okay. Can somebody do a recap, a recap of yesterday's class? What do you remember about yesterday's class? Were you sleeping? Were you falling asleep? I fall asleep. Oh my god, really? Come on. Okay, what was um the topic yesterday? I showed you a presentation. I talked a lot. We all talked a lot as well. So what was it about? Come on, come on. There's a lot to do tonight, and you have to work on a presentation, but first we have to study the topic. Um, okay, so, but tell me, what, what did we study yesterday? We started the benefits. I just remember the self-based learning. Self-based learning. Okay, what else do you remember? What else do you remember from yesterday's class? Mm 
Okay, yesterday we started the benefits of the different training approaches that we have um, the day before. Well, that was, yeah, uh, Friday, Friday. We, we talked about the negative effects of not having training programs. Yesterday we started the benefits of the different programs, uh, whether those are in-person trainings, you know, on-site trainings or if those are virtual trainings and there is a third there is a third method of training what was it Carla Eric I'm sorry what was the third type of training placed something <laughs> oh my god you're not even paying attention to me. That really breaks my heart. Okay. Yeah, she didn't even get it. Carla, um, so we had virtual trainings. Yes, had... I, I pay attention, but, but, but I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> it starts with an H. H Y B R I D. Mm. A hybrid hybrid training a hybrid training thank you a hybrid Return training which has... of... yes we talked about uh -huh, it, it... return on investment return of e e a roi return of investment uh-huh roi good yeah we talked about return of investment on <laughs> regarding the trainings yes that is, that is getting your money back it's getting your money back sometimes you do it on a tangible way you know you get the money on your hands and sometimes on an intangible way which is just looking at your employees growing they even dress better. They behave differently when you train them, right? So we talked about all that yesterday. Tonight, our mission is to design, let me see the lesson plan again, design a structured request to access training programs. So tonight, you are going to design uh, a training. Uh, in the current... In the current business world, this this stage, typically this stage is carried by one, two, or three, the most trainers. And being a trainer sometimes is very difficult. It all depends on the product that, that you are producing or selling because you have yes, to train is. train your employees about the product so in call centers in call centers is very common um, to have a trainer creating the trainings you know sometimes as a trainer you have to create everything from scratch i'm gonna say it again you have to create things from scratch right create things from scratch you know from zero from zero you start and you create the videos you determine what methodology you're going to use and it all depends on the audience the audience is very important there's one more thing that at least in a call center environment is not common to see, which is money. As a trainer, you you are given you are given the tools, you are given not money but the resources. Call centers have a lot of money, and they give the resources to the trainer to plan the the training. The only investment 
let's call it that way. The only investment that as a trainer you see is meals, meals, um, bonuses, you know, like, what, how can I call this? Um, propaganda from, from the company maybe sometimes is given to you as a trainer and you have to decide who to give it to, you know, as a prize, as a prize for accomplishing the training, for behaving on the training, which is funny. Okay. So on. What what happened, Vanessa? <laughs> you didn't you didn't know how to say from scratch or okay. So I'm gonna show you a, a very interesting chart. A very interesting chart, I'm sorry, chart on your WhatsApp, okay? And this is basically the route that we are going to follow during this class. Yes, okay. So, that is basically the route that we're going to follow. I cannot show it to you here, however, Just a minute, this is not it. One minute, please, I'm sorry. September the 5th. Okay. So that's basically what we're going to study today. Needs assessment, how to follow a flow, a chart flow, in order to create a training. So when the bell opening your training uh, process is, is to create a time time a training framework that will help guide you as you set up a training program. Um, so we're going to study how to use this framework that you see there on that chart. The first thing that we need to consider is the needs assessment and learning objectives. So what are you going to teach? What are you going to train um, your trainees? Even though it sounds redundant, but that's what you need to consider. So let's go one by one. Hold on. <clears throat> Let me share my screen with you. I have a board and you're going to help me reading, okay? Where is the text? Here it is. One second. Here we go. This is a little bit big, but that's gonna help. Okay. So who can help me reading here? Needs assessment and learning objectives. Me teacher. Please go. Needs assessments. Needs assessment and learning objectives. This part of the framework development as you to consider what kind of training is needed in your organization. Once you have determined the training needed, you can set learning objectives to measure at the end of the training. Exactly, okay. Good job, determined. Determined. Once you have determined, Determined. Mm -hmm. Yep. Determine the training needed. Needed. Very good. Mm, objectives to measure at the end of training. In your own words, guys, what do you understand? This part of the framework development asks you. By the way, that's a difficult verb in third person. Asks asks you to consider what kind of training is needed 
in your organization. Once you have determined the training needed, you can set learning objectives to measure at the end of the training. Okay, let's picture a scenario. Did you notice that, let's talk about a, a production line. A production line, okay. Let's say that in the production line, many of your operators, of your machine operators, are always standing to go to the bathroom. Hmm. What kind of, do you think you need a training for that? No. For go to the bathroom. They go to the bathroom very often. So what do you do? I think it could be a problem of of uh, temp temper temperature in the office. Oh, uh, <laughs> good job! And because production. I I because I have I have that problem. <laughs> oh, really? When the the when the, the temperature is very cold. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yes, it's true. That happens a lot, right? Yeah. Re repeat temperature. Temper temperature. Mm -hmm. Temperature. Temperature. Mm -hmm. You got it? And it's true, huh? When you want to solve a problem, perfect job, Daniel, you have to think out of the box. Think out of the box. What's affecting, what is affecting the employees? Why are they going to the bathroom so often? Okay, temperature is too cold. It is too cold. What else could be the problem? What else could be causing that they go to the bathroom so often? No. The most common drink a lot of water. They are drinking too much water. Okay. That could be another reason. Is that bad? No. No. It's a good that, option. It is a good thing. It's a good thing. It's something good. That's something good. That's something positive. Yeah. What else? What else could be affecting the employees? Why are they going so often? Okay, what about working hours? No breaks. I mean, sometimes in Maquilas, you know, in a production line, they work without a break in the middle. So they suppose that um a production line worker starts its shift at eight o'clock at eight sharp in the morning and they don't have a break until noon. Could that be affecting the employees? Yes. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. That's affecting. What about the production line okay they are old they are all old people everybody's old on the production line they're old ladies and men and they come from far away so every day they arrive late and they have no time to have their breakfast to go to the restroom before starting to work okay and lastly, how is this behavior, because it's a behavior, how is this biological behavior? Okay, it's a biological behavior. How is it affecting the company? How is that affecting the company? Maybe in a, 
in the efficient efficiency good job nelson yeah the efficiency the efficiency so i'm talking to you about a real case scenario a real case scenario this is a real case scenario that happened to me okay in the company i used to i used to take we used to call them biorales we used to call them uh yeah biorales every two hours I used to stop next to an operator, a machine operator, a sewing machine operator, and start taking the time. Well, first, take note of the operation that she was doing or he was doing. And then start timing. Okay, she stopped. She stopped. And then taking times for pieces, but I started noticing they went to the restroom too often. I looked for the reasons, I looked for the, um, this, you know, how, how the, was the company of being affected by this and determined to do something. So there is a need of assessment. Okay, that's a needs assessment. Do I need a training? What would be the learning objective of this needs assessment? First of all, time management. Time management from the perspective of the company, we need to give them a break. We need to give them at least, at least 15 minutes, 15 minutes to have their break fast, to go to the restroom, okay, to refresh. The temperature, the temperature, temperature was not a problem because it was a huge storage room. It was a huge room. Yes, it is going to rain, most likely, Nelson. <laughs> yes. Okay, so it was a huge room, a production line. Imagine on the background, on the background. Te extraño más que nunca y no sé qué hacer. <laughs> <laughs> man all day all day huge loud really loud man all day so that that was another stressor you know people get stressed with the music and they used to discuss, they used to argue a lot. I don't like that sound. That music is boring. Play some cumbia. Oh my God. Right? All day. So, I mean, we gave them a break. Um, it was difficult. But in the end, I had to train. I was, what was I? I was like 20. 23 years old or 22 years old, but I was in the technician technical career. So I decided to create a training and take one hour. In one hour, I had to train ladies and two men. It was like 20 ladies and two men, something like that. But they were older than me. <laughs> they were like 50. 40 something and I was 22 and I had to, to investigate and, and help them understanding about time management okay how to leave earlier why is it important to leave earlier from your house because of the traffic and all that right uh why is it important to to have a healthy breakfast healthy breakfast how much water do you need in your body and things like that. And lastly, make them understand how will they affect the company? What was the impact of this training? No impact. During the first month, they didn't do nothing. Okay. Second month, I decided, we decided to implement a bonus. We, we were going to give them a bonus to the three top operators. So you had a goal for two hours. You had to do 
each operations, you know, X amount of operations. And it worked. Incentives, incentives really work on this, on a production line, most of all. So going back, there was a need of assessment. That's what we did. The objective was to make them stop going to the bathroom so often. And it worked, it worked really well. Okay, let's move on. Consideration of learning styles. <laughs> okay, somebody, can somebody help me reading? Fatima, choose somebody. I need somebody. Daniel. Thank you. Consideration of learning style. Styles. Styles. Sure, styles. Mm -hmm. Making sure to teach to a variety of learning styles is important to development of training programs. Mm -hmm. to, to the development, to development, yeah. Okay, what do you understand, Daniel? What do you think about this? Okay, you need to, yeah, uh, how the, the, I'll say the, the have a, a variety of learning because you, you don't know what is the kind, what is the kind of styles to the people like. Mm -hmm. For 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 some people, the style was boring. I don't know, and for the other people, it's ah, it's excellent. I like it. I, I like the style, and for the other people, ah, I don't like it. <laughs> you need to 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 you uh you you has a has a training as a as a no. As, as a, a trainer, trainer uh-huh. As a trainer, as a trainer, you need to to consider. To, well, yeah, or, or consider the the the, guy, the 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 style. But based on what? Based in the in the in the in the type of people you have. Excellent. Do you think? Well, nowadays. If I have a production line of 20 or 50 old ladies sewing all day, do you think they will go for a virtual training? No, <laughs> definitely, definitely no. Right. You, can, you can take the, the, the old ladies uh -huh. and let's go to, I don't know, Mr. Donut or something. <laughs> or, 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 or I don't know, um, Starbucks. Uh, no, coffee, too expensive. Coffee. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, another, another cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yeah, uh, but uh, this has coffee and 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 pan, uh -huh. and, and pan dulce. How do you say pan dulce in English? In <laughs> um, pastry. Uh, good, Vanessa. Pastry. Okay. Pastry. Pastry. Yeah, the way it sounds. Pastry. Pastry, okay. <laughs> they pastry and, and they go to talk. <laughs> yes, they love that. They love that. It's, that's true. So what is involved? <laughs> you know, I have a, a dilemma. I'm setting something up. I'm coming up with an idea. And it's very developed at this point. But the, the conflict that I have is huge. And this is it, it's the learning styles. I, I have a program that I'm working on, but it's addressed, it's addressed to low income people, to low um, scholarity people, you know, people from all the way on the hills where there are no bosses, no hospitals, you know, just internet, ironically. There's no hospital, there's no, um, what, private schools, you know, no seguro social. It's, it's little towns, you know, where there's just internet. Funny thing, the funny thing is that they have internet. Okay, 
but how do I teach someone English with, uh, I don't know, a fifth grader, let's say, someone who went to the school and quit the school on their fifth grade, fifth grader? Man, that's difficult. It is difficult because it's not the same. It's very difficult. It's, why? Because of that, the learning style. Uh, if I tell Fatima about technical things, you know, the topics, the topics that you're going to talk about, not even in Spanish, you know, you know what I mean, right? It sounds difficult for them. So uh, that's a, a problem. So going back to that point, if I try to teach these, uh, uh, the, the kind of employees, I have to be very conscious, very conscious of the learning styles of every student to determine the next bullet point, to determine the next bullet point. Number three, Nelson. Oh, Nelson Antonio. <laughs> Delivery mode. What is the best way to get your massage across? Is the basic training more appropriate or should mentally be used? Can best bull training be used for a, a portion of, of the training while you shall we be used for some of the training too? Most training programs will include a variety of delivery methods. Good job. Okay. Um, two words, let's say appropriate. 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 Mm -hmm. Good job. And the second one. Daniel said it too, I think. Uh, you have two options with this word. Variety. Variety. The way it is written, variety. Or variety. 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 <laughs> That's the difficult one. Variety. Yes. Uh, will include a variety. Okay. A variety. A variety. A variety. Variety. Of delivery methods <laughs> will include a variety yeah, of delivery. Uh, the other word is vestibule. How pronounced? Oh, vestibule. Yeah, a vestibule. Vestibule okay. mm -hmm. training. Uh, vestibule training. That's something you need to understand better, and we will see it in a minute too. Okay. So, what do you understand by this? Um, Nelson, in your own words. <clears throat> okay, I I think uh, to get a, a training on web websites for me is is uh, is not a good option or or point. Not all the time. Mm -hmm. No, is is maybe it's better in another scenario. Maybe maybe a mentoring person. Most maybe part. give a give a give a training, a physical training, mm -hmm. because, because the people understand better. Yeah, that's true. Doing things. Remember, hands-on trainings are always a better option. That's true. Experience. Nothing teaches better than experience. Okay, so, so far we have needs assessment. Identify what you're going to train. What are your objectives with the training? The considerations of learning styles. What kind of students you will have or trainees. And now we have what delivery mode which you're going to use. That simple is what we have been studying, the, the different the, uh, training methodologies. About the budget, how much money do you have to spend on this training? 
when you are doing something by your own, maybe, but the company is already uh, when when you have when they give you the order of starting up a training, they already have a budget. They don't ask you, you know, okay, how much money do you need to, to deliver this training? No, it's just their budget, and that's it. Okay, about the delivery style, this is very similar to the delivery mode. Will the training be self-paced or instructor lead? And this is wrong. Instru instructor led, I don't know, the past of lead led, okay. Will be training be self-paced or instructor led? What kinds of discussions and interactivity, interactivity can be developed in conjunction with this training? What kind of dynamics, um, tools will be used. Nowadays, companies also use a training environment system. You know, when you're going to work with a software, an application, and they already have a training uh, stage, let's say phase of, of the system. That's very useful. Audience, I love Carla, uh, Erica read this yesterday and it was audience, good job, audience. Who will be part of this training? Who will be part of this training? Do you have a mix of roles such as accounting people and marketing people? What are the job responsibilities of these individuals? And how can you make the training relevant to their individual jobs? Let's see how creative you are. Imagine that you are a trainer and you have accountants and salesmen, sell people, you know, people from the sales department, and you have the accountants. Would you think of something to do in the class to join the group? I think that was a too extensive question. Let me let me tell you. There are dynamics that you can use to, to work as a team. There are many dynamics you can use. But the whole point of this, um, as a simple trainer, you will look for any game. Any game, any teamwork game. Have you been on a training? Anybody? Any capacitación? <laughs> He didn't want to say capacitation because that doesn't exist. Okay. <laughs> okay. Daniel, yes? Yes, sir. Yes, did, sir. did you play any games? Yes. The, in, in fact, I I tried to use the, 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 the games. Mm -hmm. and I learned the games in the Boy Scouts and I applied. I apply the games in at the training. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What happens? I mean, people people get really excited, you know, with the different dynamics you can apply, teamwork dynamics and all that. But there's has to be a there has to be a a purpose a purpose of the dynamic. Okay. So. And that's important because, it, as, as the example, you have accountants and sell, salespeople. There are two different worlds. One is numbers and the other one is sales. But they do have something in common, by the way, numbers, right? Accountants count money, <laughs> talk about money. Salespeople love money. They live with money. They want more money, right? <laughs> so there are things you can do. Okay, content. What needs to be taught? How will you sequence the information? This is very important. Uh, you cannot start teaching the last topic and finish with the middle topic. No, there's always an order to follow. Okay, timelines. How long will it take to develop the training? Is there a deadline for training to be completed? Somehow, I have met only two trainers in my entire life, two trainers that respected timelines, who were very strict with timelines and were able to finish the training in the time 
they said they were going to finish the training. So they follow a protocol, protocol, okay? They stuck to a protocol throughout the whole training, you know, always on time, on time, on time. And if they run out of time, they said, okay, no, 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 no lunch today, no break today. We have to run with this topic. Oh, man. They were good trainers. Okay. Communication. How will employees know the training is available to them? How will you inform everybody? Nowadays, you can just simply send an email, right? Send an email. Uh, back in the days, can somebody translate? Back in the days? Let me see who's falling asleep here. <laughs> okay. I don't see Carla. I don't see Jamie or Ruth, Samantha, Adriana. Adriana is working. Lucy and Ivan. Ivan, oh my God. Hello, Ivan. What is back in the day, I guys? It. I Carla, I know, I know. Okay. What is back in the days? Nobody? Okay. Es como back in the días pasados. Uh -huh. En los días de antaño, ja, en los días pasados. Allá en aquel entonces, pa. Mm -hmm. Back in the days. That's the meaning, okay? Uh, so, back in the days, we used to step next to the next to the employee and go like, okay, we have a training on Thursday at 5, 3 p.m., okay? It's going to be two hours before you end your shift. Sign this paper. So they used to sign a document, a memo. They used to sign a memo. That's it. Now you have the um, intranet. You have the intranet on businesses. You have emails, you know, and many other communication uh, uh, tools. Measuring effectiveness of training. Now this, this is crucial. This is very important. And many trainers or trainee, trainings are not measured. They are measured in progress, let's say, how good the employee is performing. And of course, there is a grace period. There is a grace period. Sorry, there is a grace period after you finish the training. If it was a training regarding processes, okay, ways of working, there's a training period, a grace period to improve and then you start measuring reacting you know pushing pushing trying to obtain the best of the employee who received the training so that's this is basically a resume and this is a, basically a brief in brief this is in brief what we must go through during this class somehow i'm not able to copy that number one do you have any questions, observations, suggestions? No. Okay. Is that clear like horchata or no? Yes, have... like horchata. Okay. <laughs> Come on. I'm trying to be as explicit as possible uh, because it sounds like boring or or not not common right to talk about this it's a it's, it's a lot of a lot of information a lot of a lot of a lot of good job a lot of information it is it's true uh, but it's in order you know there is an order for this um and it, i have it on a more extended way I found this website some years ago, and it's always worked for this topic. You have the link on your chat, and let me just go through the topic we just talked about. It's not going to work here. Yeah, it's not going to work like that. Hold on just a minute. Wait a minute. We got lost my guy. 
just nice and okay um uh, there you go there are the steps and now it's 8 48. Okay, guys, the, tonight you are being challenged by this course and you need to create um, a training program, basically. You have to develop, be very creative, and design a structured request to access the training program. How do we do this? You have to break down every one of these steps that I'm sharing with you. So, in other words, uh, let's consider, okay, there we go. Picture this. You are the trainer of your company. Can somebody define a trainer really quick? What do you understand by a trainer? What is it? It's a person who provides a trainer. <laughs> okay. Do you think I'm a trainer? Am I a trainer? Um, no. Because trainer is different. Uh, uh, a class trainer is uh, is not every day. Trainer is is, is like uh, more, more. I don't know. More, shorter. Yeah, more short, more uh, yeah. sh mm -hmm. shorter, shorter. Uh, yeah. Not not more short, shorter, and it's shorter in time. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. but well, no, actually, I I I have been on trainings of two months, mm. <laughs> two no. months trainings. My first training, my first training in English was two months and two weeks, mm. two months and two weeks to uh, to access the airline to start working for the airline. It was a long training. And the final test was um, an exam where I had to provide about 250, no, I can't remember. It, yeah, it was over 200 um, airport codes, airport codes like La Guardia is L-A-G, L-G-A, I'm sorry, L-G, London Heathrow, L-H-R, Louisiana um, Airport, you know, it's Kuma, just... Kumalapa is my Sierra Lima Papa. Hey, you got it. You know, about <laughs> NATO, the NATO <laughs> alphabet. Good. I had to yeah. tell about the NATO alphabet. Uh, okay. We we used it a lot, a lot <laughs> on the airline. So all of that was, uh, was a test and you know what was the worst part, Daniel? The training was not paid. Ah. <laughs> so if if you if you didn't make it, you just didn't get the job, and no payment. Uh, okay. If yeah. you made it, oh, I'm lying. It was a month and two weeks, so six weeks. But you know what happened? I had no money to eat for the, the last two days. The last two days. I had no money and I had just recently moved to live alone, to live alone in my house. So I was living alone, nobody in my house. Well, I had a cat, I had a cat, but for the last two days of the training, I had no money. So when I, when I, when they started, um, how do you say this? When they launched uh, the pursuit of happiness, with Will Smith, I cried when I saw that movie because that was me. When I got the first call center job, I, ha I had spent two days without food before they said you made it. So yeah. when I, when they said you are in, you are in, you're starting tomorrow, and I was like, man, it's amazing. Amazing. <laughs> it it changed my life. It changed my life. I was making. 174.50 a month that was my salary back in 2005 2005 i was making 174 dollars and 50 cents a month and i went from 174.50 to 900 and sometimes oh. sometimes 1100 a month a month 
of course, I was doing overtime. I was, you know, doing my best to get the bonus on, on quality. So I was a very good uh, employee. I mean, I loved the job. I loved working there. And I was living alone, so I needed, <laughs> really needed the money to pay the house and everything. It was crazy, but it really, I really appreciate that time of my life. And so, again, you have to present, that's the word, you have to do a presentation for the board of directors of your company and explain, explain why do you need this training? What is the objective of the training? Number two, um, the learning styles. What's your, I don't know how to say this in Spanish, but for teachers is your, oh my God, hasta en español se me olvidó esa palabra. Perfil, your profile. What's your student profile? And the learning style tenés. Dentro, right? There's a word for that. I know palabra, por eso se me olvidó. Okay. So based on that, what it's gonna be your delivery mode? Make up the budget. Okay. Make up the budget. At least twenty. At least twenty students will be good. And uh, what delivery style you're going to use? To consider the audience. I mean, from one to ten. It has to be on your presentation to the board of directors to see if they approve your training. Good? Make sense? No. Yes. Yes? Yeah, I understand. <laughs> huh, Fatima is like... Hmm. Not sure. I don't know, Rick. I don't know, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, okay, Jamie. Hi. <laughs> Did you get it? Mm, no. Something. <laughs> uh, some, 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 sort of. Okay, algo. Vamos a hacer un una presentación para la que sería la board of directors. Alguien lo dijo ayer. El consejo, ¿no? Para el consejo de la empresa. Y tú vas a crear un programa de entrenamiento, pero tenés que buscarte que te lo prueben, que es el primer paso. ¿Cómo haces eso? Pues vas a seguir esos bullet points, esos puntos del 1 al 10. O sea, empezando por por qué vas a dar el entrenamiento. ¿Cuál es el objetivo del entrenamiento? Eh, los tipos de aprendizaje, los, las, ¿cómo se dice? Las, uh, las capacidades de aprendizaje que tienen los estudiantes. Esto lo puedes manejar en porcentaje, ¿no? El 30% de estudiantes tienen un perfil, eh, así, o sea, ¿no? En escasos recursos, eh, nunca ha usado una computadora. Ok, imagínate, existe eso, ¿no? Eh, eh, basado en eso, eh, en la metodología de entrega del entrenamiento será así, así, esta. Así haremos llegar el mensaje, ok. Eh, el presupuesto que se nos ha asignado para el entrenamiento es tal. ¿Qué tipo de, de, de estilo vas a ocupar? Eh, lo que veíamos, ¿no? En los últimos días. ¿Es self-paced o mentored? ¿Shadowing? ¿Qué tipo de metodología vas a ocupar? Eh, el contenido de lo que vas a enseñar. Y aquí es donde vas a tener que ocupar mucha creatividad. ¿Qué contenido vas a, a desarrollar para cubrir esa necesidad dentro de, de los empleados? Sean muy creativos. Sean muy creativos. Eh, ok. Vamos a ver el content. Timelines. Fácil. Fechas. De cuándo a cuándo vas a desarrollar el entrenamiento. Cuánto tiempo. Y communication. Cómo vas a informar de esto a los empleados. Si se has creado un memo. Podrías hacer un ejemplo de correo. Y por último. En qué fecha o cuánto tiempo después de haber dado el entrenamiento. Vas a llevar a cabo una... Um, how do you say this? An evaluation. An evaluation. Vas a evaluar los resultados del entrenamiento. Okay. Simple. Is that clear? Do that. 
Don't do that, Carl. I mean, claro. Erika. No, no bostecen, por favor, enfrente de la cámara. Se lo suplico. Es algo contagioso por si no lo saben. So, yeah. No joining. Don't joining on the camera. Daniel. The chair. Oh, Hector. Uh, este. How many times we have to make the presentation to, for do and make the presentation? How much time? I don't know. If, uh, how, how, much, how much? How many? I say how many. Uh -huh. Sorry. How 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 many times do you No, how much? How much? How much time do we have? Yeah. You have 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Is that enough? 40. That's a long time. Yeah, 40 minutes. Okay, at least one on the on the group because we're gonna be just two groups. I mean we're we're 14 right now. If I make three groups, I don't think some of you will participate. Uh, vamos a hacer algo súper rápido. Pueden, por favor, los que no puedan participar porque están trabajando algo, poner un emoji. Perdón que les hable español, pero necesito esto rapidín. Un emoji en su pantalla para identificarme que no pueden participar porque están trabajando o algo emotivo, ¿ok? Be, feel free. Solo yo puedo ver eso, no se preocupen. Come on, guys. Ok. 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 Just two. Okay, so let's make three groups. Okay, let's see, three, uh, 15, 14, three, 11, no. We're gonna do two groups, okay? Simple. Everybody has to participate. So let's think participate, okay? Okay. Okay. So let's go. Eh, si tienen preguntas, yo voy a estar en cada uno de los grupos por cierto tiempo. Perdón que les hablé en español, pero si ya lo notaron, yo tengo que estar eh, monitoreando que si se está trabajando, que se esté hablando en inglés dentro de la posible, ¿verdad? Yo comprendo también si alguien se siente perdido y, alguien, y necesita que alguien le explique y le pregunta al otro y le dice en español, mira, esto es esto y esto y eso. Let's continue. Simple. ¿Ok? This is not an easy topic. No son temas fáciles, yo lo sé, pero sí le van a ayudar mucho. Okay. Let's do it. Nelson, Adriana, and Ivan, please join your groups. Aunque no puedan participar, pero sí únanse a su grupo para que puedan estar de oyentes, ¿ok? Thank you. Share your uh, screen for me. For the presentation, for... For make the presentation. I believe that it was okay. I okay. It's here. I believe that it's... we can do a presentation using these ten steps. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first, the first, the first step is to decide what, what type of, what type of needs assessment, learning objectives, what, what type objective. of training, uh -huh. 
Blood type, blood type is pregnant. Mm -hmm. First of all, we need to identify what kind of training is needed in our we can organization. Create, we, can, we can create a training to the sales, sales person. I don't know. A lo que eh, dirigido a los vendedores, creería, no sé, se piensan. Yes. Yes, the seller. Uh -huh. the person, the seller. Uh -huh. Can the can the measure the hours hours of work? Uh -huh. uh, the the eight hours. Of work. Eight hours of work. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Uh, the the objective is to I don't know to to be a a more efficient efficiently sales person. I don't know. <laughs> Yes, uh, we create uh, a, a in the work. We have we we create a training for 